Hey guys, it's Ann Yorks from The Flower Box and I have a dynamite new tutorial and kit for you today. I'm so excited to share these five dinosaur cookies. In today's video, we're going to learn how to decorate a T-Rex, a Stegosaurus, a Brontosaurus, a dinosaur foot, and my favorite, the Triceratops. Let's cookie it up. The T-Rex cookie starts with his big jaw. So we're gonna outline his smile first using a pastel navy blue piping icing with tip number two. And then we'll work our way around his body. Now, as I do his back, I'm going to leave a little bit of space to add some fun detail on the back of the T-Rex. I'm flooding the cookie in generously. I just like a nice full cookie. I also find it really reduces the time that I need to take to pick up tools and set them down. So be generous with that flood icing and you'll see a nice flat surface when the icing is dry. Now while this base icing is still wet, I'm using a teal flood icing to add some polka dots and just a cute detail to the top of the T-Rex's head. I have a mini leaf tip. It's an Ateco tip number 263 on my dark navy icing bag. And I'm just adding these spikes on the back of the T-Rex's body. I'm just adding these leaves by giving a good hand squeeze and then easing off the hand pressure as I pull out that little mini leaf. To add the fun T-Rex arms, just use flood icing. You don't need to outline this first. I'm just adding sort of an oval shape for the first arm that's in the background, and then sort of a macaroni shape for the second arm that's in the foreground, just to give this guy a little bit of an elbow and movement like he's off running somewhere. Now here's a fun detail. Use white icing and tip number two to add those sharp T-Rex teeth. I'm just adding these little teardrops of icing inside the mouth. Using a flood icing, I add the black eye and then a teeny tiny little dot of white piping icing to add the catch light. Now before I'm all done, I just wanna add an eyebrow to that dino using an ultra thin black marker. And this cookie is ready for the party. Let's take a look at the Stegosaurus. I'm using orange piping icing with tip number two to completely outline the dinosaur's body. And I'm going to be adding the flood icing using a 10 second flood icing. If you are new to cookie decorating, check out the Cookies 101 blog post on flowerbox.com. It has several helpful videos, recipes to nail this royal icing to make these cookies for your party. Again, just to kind of keep one consistent design trait between these cookies, I'm gonna add a couple of polka dots to the back of the Stegosaurus, just to add something interesting to his body. And once all those dots are on there, I'll put that cookie in front of the fan to dry and come back and add the plates that are on top of the Stego's back. I'm just using flood icing to create these plates. I just find that it's a faster way to add them and there's no need to outline such a small icing area. If you're looking for a complete list of icing colors featured on these really cute dino cookies, check out the blog post for the dino kit on flowerbox.com. Once this cookie has a chance to dry, I'm adding some little legs in the background. And again, since it's such a small icing area, no need to outline first. I'm just using that flood icing to add those legs. Add face details and a mouth using a black marker. And this cookie is just about ready to go. I just wanna add on a couple of details onto the plates of the dino's back. Use a tip number one to keep this detail nice and small.
Let's take a look at this brontosaurus. For the icing color on this cookie, I'm using a pastel teal, and I'm just going to completely outline the entire body of the dinosaur. Add a little section for his chest. There we're going to add some accent color just to keep this cookie interesting. Now flood in that pastel teal nice and generously in the entire section of the body. Using a dark teal, we're just gonna add some stripes on the back of the brontosaurus. Now I'm pretty sure brontosaurus didn't have stripes, although I'm not 100% sure, but this certainly adds a cute and whimsical detail to the dino. Again, add a couple polka dots. This is one common design trait throughout all five cookies. Flood in the chest using that dark teal icing. Add those little legs in the background just with a small line of flood icing. And I like to tap it into place just to reshape it and make sure that it looks like it's in the background. Now I have my extra fine black marker and I'm just going to add a peaceful little eye and a simple smile to this cookie. Sometimes when you're using a food marker, it's important to allow a little bit of extra drying time so that you don't poke the tip of that marker through the icing. So I suggest coming back and adding those marker details a couple hours after that icing fully dries. Let's take a look at this really cute Triceratops. I'm just adding a wavy line at the top of the head and then I'll bring the head around to the chin using an S curve. I'll finish off the outline on the head by outlining the front of the face and down through the chin. Now I'll pipe through the body and the legs and I'm ready to flood in. I'll start with the body first since that's sort of in the background and the head is more in the foreground. I'm adding just a couple of polka dots to the back of the Triceratops' body. Again, I'm adding these while that base icing is still wet. You can see that it just melts down in and creates a nice flat surface to the cookie icing. Once that section has a chance to dry, I'm ready to add those legs that are hiding in the background. Again, just using that scribe to kind of tap icing into place. And then I'm ready to flood in the Triceratops' head. This is such a neat icing color. This is actually a pastel tulip red. And again, you can get a full list of icing colors used on this cookie set using the icing guide on the blog post for the dino kit. It's time to add those three horns that the Triceratops is known for. So I add one horn to the front of his nose, another one that's peeking out from the back side of the head, and then I'll add that third horn that's closest to us, just kind of adding with a really good hand squeeze to keep that horn looking thick at the bottom and then easing off the hand pressure as I pull the horn out, keeping it thinner at the top. The eye on this dinosaur is the same as the Triceratops. I'm using a black flood icing with a tiny dot of white piping icing to create that dino eye. I'm adding a little eyebrow and a mouth using the black marker. Now, if you're enjoying watching this video and you wanna remake these cookies, definitely check out the dino kit on flowerbox.com. It has all the cookie cutters and the stencil that I'm using here on the dinosaur foot all in one kit. And the cool thing about the kit is when you pick up all the supplies in the kit, they're all 10% off. So check that out. All right, let's take a look at this last cookie. This is our dinosaur foot. I outlined the foot area using a green piping icing with tip number two, and now I'm just flooding in generously using the green flood icing. 
Because I'm stenciling on this cookie, I definitely want to allow at least four hours of dry time before putting pressure on the surface of the cookie. So once that icing has a chance to really dry, I'm ready to click my stencil into the Stencil Genie, squeeze some piping icing onto my scraper, and spread that icing generously over the stencil, making sure I get icing into all of the areas on the surface of the cookie. Before I lift up that stencil, I'll remove the excess using the edge of the scraper to just make it easier to see that pattern once that stencil lifts up. Now this looks pretty good, but because we're using an open design and some of the icing slid down on the side of the cookie through those open spaces on the stencil, I'm just going to take a few seconds to clean up any of that excess icing using the flat edge of my boo-boo stick. This doesn't take long and doing that little bit of cleanup really makes that design look sharp. Now it's time to add the claw on the toes of the foot. And this is just like the Triceratops horns. I'm adding a really good squeeze of white piping icing, squeezing hard, and as I pull that nail out, I'm just easing off the hand pressure to give it a thin tip. I really hope you enjoyed learning how to make these really colorful and cute dino cookies. Again, for more details, check out that blog post on flowerbox.com and pick up the kit. I would be so flattered if you recreated these cookies. If you do, share a pic and please tag me on social media using at the Flower Box Shop. Until next time, happy decorating!